if you're fairly new to the Discord, you, you heard people screaming uh, 80% rule, right? Uh, it, it, it is 80% effective uh, if you're trading it properly and that there's some rules around it. So 80% rule basically, uh, let me go here, uh, asserts that if the stock price opens or moves above below the value area, but then returns to the value area, uh, and usually, you know, you want two, five, 15 minute periods, sometimes even if you're a little bit more risk averse, you can use 30 minutes. So if we go from the previous day, and I'll just kind of give you a visual here so you guys can, uh, let's see. So if I go, if this is our value area here, and let's say this is our, you know, previous day value area. Hey, and you open here, and you come back inside the value area high, and you're dancing here. There's a 80% chance you're gonna drive it to the previous day value area low here. All we need to wait is for these candles in here to give us a confirmation. You want two, you know, five or ten minutes if you're really, you know kind of risk taker you can use five minutes uh to hold inside the value area high and you want them consolidate once you break that range where you know you had closest like low of the day that's not a bad entry to drive it you know somewhere in the middle here you would have the poc uh, you can skip kind of peel some off right here at the poc if you took it from the 80 percent and if you break that poc then your odds are really increasing that you're going to go to the value area low if you had multiple contracts, peel some off here. And if you see it's weak, excuse me, if you see it's weak, then you can keep driving it all the way for the 80% rule. And the same is true, you know, if you're doing it uh, from here, right? You drop below, well, maybe I should draw back again because moving those dots. You drop below, you come back here, you hold it. Uh, so here, and then, this would be the 80% rule on the upside, right? So you drop below the value area low, you reclaim the value area low, you know, depending on time frames and whatnot, you're trading in here, 80% chance you're going to go to the value area high from the previous day. Does that make sense? This is the best explanation I can give you. And then you can see this at work 